So the sports vision here at Caterham is outstanding um, it, across the board and, and in all respects. We provide a huge amount for every single pupil. Um, we look to get every pupil involved in sport and to try and find a sport that they love. At the same time as doing that, uh, our most talented and most committed performers, we really try to stretch and enable their development as well. So uh, that's kind of been proven over the last few years with a number of international athletes that we've had in a variety of different sports. So we've run something called the CAP program or the Caterham Athlete, Athlete Program. Pupils on the Caterham Athlete Program would be our sports scholars or pupils who have applied for a sports scholarship and have shown real potential in that sport. Um, or pupils who have come into the school and, and, and really thrive. They sit down learn about the nutrition, the psychology, so that they can gain a balance and have a real understanding of how sport helps their academic um, and finding a balance will help them do well in both. The best thing about me at Catrum is the sport. <laughs> the sport, because they teach young athletes how to have a professional mindset and be professional. Like if you want to become a professional a like rugby player or professional footballer and you, and you want like you have a goal to exceed at one team, your time will come like you have to trust the process. The Caterham help you with the process, like they get you like ready for like challenges. So for example, if you have like released, you get released by a club and you're like quite sad, they uh, hey they don't do that. Get released, like you carry on because they want you to excel, like they help you have a good mindset about it, sports here. What we try and do with our cap is recreate what they would get in a more professional environment. So the support with the psychologist, the nutrition, the mentoring, um, and giving them the best shot possible at making it in their given sport. It's really important to keep up to date and keep the sport moving on. So the introduction of girls cricket is really important. Um, there's a huge move nationally for girls cricket and lots of schools are now taking part in it. I don't think it's gonna be long until you see a girls cricket team taking to home field for their first match. On site here we've got four lacrosse pitches, a couple of rugby pitches, two cricket squares, AstroTurf, swimming pool, cricket nets, I mean it just goes on and on and on and that's before we even start to consider the hill fields which are just a five minute walk up the hill with a new multi-million pound pavilion, um, again two or three more cricket squares, seven rugby pitches, five or six lacrosse pitches as well. It just it, The facilities are remarkable um, and then we've got the indoor swimming pool and an enormous sports hall which you can see behind us. Um, we've redeveloped the performance gym in recent times or last year. Um, so we can now provide again at that top and elite end for those people who really want to develop their strength and conditioning. I think like anything, sport in general is an amazing tool to get to know people. It's an amazing tool for teamwork, community, um, learning new skills. It gives girls something in common. Um, the teams they play in on Saturday, their turnouts after school, it gives them that, that common interest and that common goal, which is really important, I think. We put out teams A, B, C, D teams because the girls want to keep playing um, and we will you know, support them. If they want to play, we will help them to play. 